I grew up in this 19th century farmhouse in Pleasant Valley, Pennsylvania, which is located in Bucks County. In the 1930s, because of its bucolic beauty and proximity to the theaters and publishing houses of New York City, Bucks County became a mecca for writers. Pearl Buck, Moss Hart, Dorothy Parker, and Oscar Hammerstein all had houses in Bucks County. Eric Knight, author of Lassie Come Home, the story of a dog who journeys for hundreds of miles to return to the family he loves, lived on Springhouse Farm in Pleasant Valley. Knight, a major in U.S. Army intelligence in World War II, died in 1943 in South America in what was then the worst air disaster in the Western Hemisphere. His widow Jerry, or as my father called her, Lassie's mother, still lived here at Springhouse Farm when we moved to Pleasant Valley in the 1960s. Mrs. Knight had remarried since her first husband's death, but she subsequently was divorced and took back the Knight name. Her second union, unlike her first, had produced issue, a son. His name was not Timmy. It was, however, Jeff. She also had a collie named Blackie that had been given to her by Rudd Weatherwax, trainer of all the movie and TV lassies. Periodically, she would call my mother to say that Blackie had disappeared, and my brother and I would go over to search for him. Blackie would invariably be only one field over from his house, but hopelessly lost. The irony of this never occurred to Mrs. Knight. One day, as it must for all beings, death came for Blackie. Mrs. Knight buried him in a field on the farm. Students from the local elementary school would take an annual field trip to Springhouse Farm. Mrs. Knight would tell them all about Eric Knight and Lassie, and then she would take them to the field to show them Blackie's burial site. Every year she would point to a different spot. 